the same thing, we'll continue to get the same results. Ever been to a landfill? Space is limited, right? In addition to everyday waste, each time we go to the doctor, the syringes, gloves, gowns, and more end up here too. How that happens is becoming safer for our environment, thanks to this woman. Medical waste is going to be a game changer. Beverly Hanstrom is the president of Colorado Medical Waste. She's also the woman leading Colorado and Aurora into a new green frontier of zero emissions medical waste management. She says the process can no longer be out of sight, out of mind. So a better way exists and um, I'm here to educate people. Hanstrom, along with Colorado Medical Waste, has been a respected part of this industry for quite some time. She's seen new technology challenge the traditional process of incineration and autoclave sterilization. Processed human waste, melting plastics, heat and steam, I mean it causes a really pungent, disgusting smell. It also takes up a lot of landfill space. Now there's a new green technology on the market, and it's right here in Aurora. Ozone's groundbreaking. It's a revolutionary technology. Once Hanstrom saw this new million dollar machine in action, she had to bring it to Colorado. While the process of getting city approval took some time and collaboration, she says it was worth the wait. The city was very helpful. Uh, obviously, they had never done this before either. In fact, Colorado is only the third state in the nation to use this cutting edge process. We have five cells in here that have the, that create ozone. It sterilizes waste using ozone, a gas made from oxygen. Ozone is natural. I mean, uh, you take ambient air and you give it an electrical charge and it creates another molecule that's just a crazy killing machine. That ozone quickly kills the pathogens, viruses, and bacteria. And it leaves no residuals, so there's no emissions, there's no chemicals, there's nothing that's going to be harmful to the environment. At the same time, each load of waste is shred into tiny pieces. It reduces the, the volume of the medical waste 90%, so it shreds it to a residual that's consistent to confetti. Take a look. After going through this zero emission process, it really does look like confetti. So by the time it got hauled to the landfill, it's dumped and there was this little pile of confetti residual next to mountains of autoclaved medical waste that's still in full form. For the non-believers, a picture is worth a thousand words and it's black and white. With proof like this, Hanstrom is hoping to empower medical facilities in our community to make positive change. Take responsibility for what you generate. Um, out of sight is no longer out of mind. I know in healthcare people take an oath to do no harm. That oath must now go beyond patient treatment to ensure a cleaner world for future generations. Oh, it's not about us right now, it's about the future of, of our kids and everybody else that wants to be around here. And, and if we kept on going this way, this autoclave way, this landfill is going to fill up really quick. It's that passion that's putting the city of Aurora and Colorado Medical Waste at the forefront of environmental stewardship. Cleaning it up is a heck of a lot more expensive than doing it right the first time.